Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get rid of the SOS only on iPhone. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now, if you're seeing something that looks like this at the very top left, it says SOS only, where normally it shows your carrier signal, how many bars you have, something like that. It says on this Apple support page, if you see SOS or SOS only, it's because your device is not connected to a network, but it can still make emergency calls. So we're gonna walk through a number of different steps to reconnect to your network. The first and easiest thing is, let's open up your settings here, and we're gonna toggle airplane mode on, and then wait a few seconds and toggle it back off. This will reconnect to your network, and a lot of times this just fixes the issue. If it doesn't, let's walk on to the next steps. Let's tap on cellular here, and you can see right next to eSIMS, I have my primary line, I can tap on it, I'm gonna to toggle it off, and you can see at the top right it shows SOS, and I'm gonna to toggle it back on. Again, this reactivates your network and your line. You can see at the top right here, it reconnects to my AT&T network. Now, if you do have a physical SIM card, you might want to switch to an eSIM or an electronic SIM card if it tells you basically you can do that right there. Otherwise, if you have a physical SIM card on your iPhone, you might wanna pop it out and just check it, maybe blow on it or make sure there's no dust on it and pop it back into your phone. After you've done that, let's move on to the next steps. Let's go back out of here and tap on general and then about at the very top. Now, if we scroll down here, you can see next to carrier lock and all of these different things, if it pops up and says that there's a firmware update for your carrier, it will pop up right here. So go to this page, and if you see something that needs to be updated, just update that. Basically that is the service, the cell service that your phone is connecting to the towers and that software needs to be updated. So go through that process of updating it. The next thing that we're gonna do is hop back out of here and we'll scroll down and tap on transfer or reset iPhone at the very bottom. And we're gonna hit on reset here and reset network settings. So by going through this process, it'll say this will reset all of our network settings, including connecting to any of those carriers so that we have a good cell signal. So just hit reset network settings that will restart your phone and you should be good to go. The last thing that you can do is do a force shutdown of your phone and reboot it. So to do that, we're gonna tap the volume up, the volume down, and then tap and hold that side power button. What you're gonna see is eventually, as you're holding it, the screen will go black, and then you'll see a little Apple logo indicating that it is rebooting, and after you go through that process, it will reboot your phone, again, rebooting iOS, and hopefully connecting to your cell carrier so that you don't have that SOS only. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. And I'll catch you on the next one.